you see, I never pay attention to the people or anyone because, uh, and I remember back in the days when I was uh, teenagers, you know, I, I like to go to the gym workout, especially my favorite exercise is squat. So every day I would go to the gym and just do my squat and uh, I would do it like almost like six, seven days a week. People from the gym, he, uh, they would come around me and say, hey, you, you are very little and uh, you live so heavy, you know, you're living a, a heavyweight squat. Either I would often to heard a lot of negative people and talk about all kind of stuff. It's like, you know, it's very dangerous for you and uh, you, uh, you might not be able to uh, continue growing because uh, they're not important to me because I want to get what I want, you know. Um, but I think that, you know, during the time that I'm still like, you know, very young, so, and uh, I cannot uh, really pay too much attention for the people that what they said because they are, uh, I'm sure that, you know, they care about me for the reason, but at the same time, that if they want me to do something good, they should be uh, able to explain about other things and support me. What they're saying that you're not right or wrong or anything because sometimes it better have to break the rules. And from my experience, it's like this. And if I talk about the dieting, I am very, very strict for my diet because every time uh, I would have to say it's not about the food. You know, everybody like talk about like, you know what, I can, I can change and I cannot uh, lose my body fat and I cannot lose my weight. What's the purpose? Sometimes you know it's your problem. It's not the food because let's say if you talk about like uh, when people invite me to go out, I used to go don't go out as much because I mean if I do you know going to a restaurant, people often have to make an excuse that hey I can't because I have this party and the food they give me and, and I cannot say no you know um, but it's not that. You know, every time I go to any type of restaurant, I will tell them what I want. I want to tell the chef to prepare for me, and I will tell them what type of food I want. I think it's very important and simple things is you have to understand it. You know, you know? Well, sometimes then people like uh, reserve the drink for you, and I was like, uh, you know what, I can because uh, I have this reason and that reason. I understand, but sometimes if you know exactly what you really want, you know, just to say, you know, no, thank you. You know, everyone who can make time, because I get up like every morning between uh, 3.30 to 5 a.m. And as soon as I get up in the morning, I will prepare my schedule and I will start doing my cardio in the morning, you know. Um, if I could do that, I could do like, you know, at least like five to six times a week. You know, it might be a certain time, you know, when I get busy, I take one day off. If I don't, you know, I feel good about it. Why not? You know, do another day. And sometimes in the weekend, you know, I might do it twice a day. You know, get used to it. It's not just about the training and cardio because the way, the mentality that you are doing it right now, you train with your brain to show it to yourself, not other. Never pay attention to the other people, okay? Just remember that those are people and it's not in your world. So what you do is you train with your brain consistently and then you become a habit. And your brain will tell yourself what you exactly you want. Your metabolism running faster and you get more excitement and you're sweating more. Your heart rate goes up, your, and your body will start transforming, and you're gonna get whatever you want to get. And you have to, you have to picture your image. You have to visualize it. What exactly your angle and shape, how you become you want to be, and get it. And that's the way you feel. Okay, you have to engage for something 
For example, you really like you really like something. You really like something. You gotta get attracted to it. You know you should know. You cannot lie to yourself. You know exactly how you feel about something or the person because you know you connected with something to the object. But again, food is the same thing. You know, when you do your diet, okay. Sometimes you know you you look at the people like the people are showing you the the diet list. What I used to do is this: I pick up so many people diet, and I was trying all different type of diet uh, the meal plan, and I realized that, you know what this is a little bit used for me and this is not useful because not everyone you can use for. So you have to like pick it up which one is better for your body. For example, if I have a chicken today, I'm gonna go exercise. Tomorrow I have straight all day to have fish, or the next day before I start working out or do something else. Or if I do running or cardio or conditioning, I have some steak with the potato, or either I can choose the brown rice or a veggie, whatever that you are prepared. Okay, it's like a puzzle. You put on everything and you have to like fix it. Every day, you have to write down the note to set which is this for. I'm doing the cardio. This for the flow rate chain. This for what else? So you pretty much you testify your body and just research for all the diet that you had and your combination of what. And that is the diet plan for yourself. Not because the magazine just said, "Oh, okay, this actor or this you know fitness or this bodybuilder," and they was like, "Wow, transform only like a couple of weeks or under reason because that the diet will fit them. It doesn't mean to fit everybody. Remember that, okay? And sometimes that uh, sh- something to show it to you. It doesn't mean." To me, I don't believe until I see it. I don't believe until I try. I don't believe until I taste the food. Okay. Sometimes you gotta understand. Maybe it's a risk. To me, I can take the risk. If I fell, I fell. If I get hurt, I get hurt. But unless I try, what is this meaning? How does it taste like? If you don't taste the food, how are you gonna know the food is salty? How are you gonna know the food is you know too much sugar? You have to manage your carbohydrate and sugar level, so you pretty much transform whatever you want. Just for example, I work out. I have that almost like a whole day is low sugar and low carbohydrate intake. Usually, I take about like two or three days. I'm very very low until the day that I start hitting weight. Or I'm doing my cardio, and I was loading up my carbohydrate and my sugar level, and then you will start burning more calories. You know, it's just like very simple concept. Remember, always challenge yourself, not other people. The people out there, you have, you never, you don't need to pay attention to it. Always challenge yourself. You know. Does he look at me? Does he look at me right now, or does he try to challenge me? Or you have lost your focus because why you have spending too much time to get so much attention to get to know other people think. Okay, maybe it sounds very very selfish, but at the same time, this is my world because if you believe in yourself, you're in charge in the world. And make that happen. It's that simple. Okay, you know, never complain about you know how much pain do you have. And I used to like train so hard. My pain is, you know, I cannot explain how bad I feel. But uh, again, uh, you know, of course, you know, every day, you know, our my body is aching and pain. But that's why you make the champion because I believe all the pain that you have. You know, maybe it take you like a year, five years, ten years, but don't count it for the time and the years. Counting 
what you improve every day. So when you make it yourself, how how much you improve every day, that's how you're gonna count, and that's how you make yourself to become a champion, and you will receive it one day. <laughs>